sideline thoracic rotation. So what we want to do here, you're going to need a foam roller or if you just have a rolled up towel, that works fine too. Just something that goes in between your knees that you can squeeze. So it just helps. We're targeting that mid back again. So we want to lock out that low back. So there's less movement coming from there. So you're going to lie down onto one side. If your neck hurts in this position, if you do have a towel, um, you're going to roll that up and just kind of rest your head there. It just helps keep your neck in a better position if you're experiencing any neck pain or tension, which can be very common in those early weeks postpartum. Um, so you want something between your knees. You're squeezing here. My knees and my hips are flexed up. So this again locks out that lumbar spine. We're focusing on a rotation here. So you can think of it as I, another term for it is oh, the open book stretch. So you're opening up. Um, so you're squeezing between your knees. Inhale, let your rib cage expand. Exhale, rotate, open to the opposite side. And you should feel that through your mid back and a chest opener as well here. And then you're gonna come back and you kind of want to push this top knee forward. That's going to, again, even more help target the thoracic spine rather than the low back. So you can almost shove this top knee a little bit forward as you reach across and open. Again, this is a great one to do after nursing or holding your baby for a long time. Feels great to open up the shoulders and the mid back. We get so much mid back stiffness during pregnancy with that extra weight in the front so this is a great one to do um, at the end of pregnancy as well and you can vary that what you do with this top hand you don't have to open it up that far you can rest it on your rib cage here you're still going to get the same um, effect you may not feel it quite as much in the front of the shoulder but you're still going to get that work through the mid back so again you want to do both sides here um, and we're just getting that good mid back thoracic rotation which is also very important when healing a diastasis. We'll um, talk more about this in some of the um, other educational videos that I have, but when healing a diastasis, we need to make sure we get our rib cage down. We have the mobility, so it takes the stress off the front of our um, abdomen so it can heal.